I'm just gonna call on the next topic for the night. Uh, it turns out I have just found this out, okay? He's a Sindhi from Gujarat. He's going to be richer than all of us. <laughs> and I have to call on Deepak Kamani. He changed my name actually, it's Deepak Ramani. <laughs> but I'm for you. <laughs> Okay, so I am a unique breed. I am a Sindhi and I am from Gujarat, as you all know. How many bachelors in the house? So it's no secret that bachelors like to play with their hands, as someone just pointed out. So, the most difficult question someone asks me is always, Deepak, why don't you have a girlfriend? And the first thing that pops out is, I haven't found my type of girl. <laughs> but deep down inside there is a voice which keeps on saying, Kuch bhi chalega. <laughs> and every day that voice, whenever the voice comes, I shut it down with few clips of Sunny Leon. <laughs> okay, so this frustration continued with me while I was in college for a few years. And when in the final year I decided that I am looking in the wrong place, I am looking in my class and in my college, I should go out and explore more. And I decided to do the most daring thing that anyone can do in Gujarat. I decided to gate crash a Gujarati wedding. <laughs> now Gujarati, as you all know, in their weddings there is a special table which is kept for money collection. There you have to go and announce yourself just like you do at box office and say that my name is Deepak and I am giving this much. If you say 100, they will look at you like, she. If you say 1000, they will say, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> So I, I entered, I did not know of this tradition. So I went there and at the gate, a beautiful lady gave me a red rose. And till then that happens to be the most romantic moment of my life. <laughs> And things did not turn out very well. Everybody was looking at us just for the just for the sake of thinking that how can this Sindhi enter a Gujarati wedding and nobody knows me. So I went there, I ate everything. Now I really what will happen is if you get fresh a wedding and they find out, they'll just throw you out or they'll call the cops. But Gujaratis are different. They'll ask you Go, go, the, go to the table and pay money and then you can walk out. <laughs> That's the difference between Gujaratis and Sindhis. Sindhis will ask you to pay the money and they will ask you to wash their plates also. <laughs> <laughs> so things went normally and I came to Bombay and I was very excited. You know in movies and all, whenever you look Bombay you see girls with short skirts and, and my friends say that they shave every day. So I was very excited and I came to Bombay. So when I came, I was actually staying at Bolivar and it was, Bolivar is like a mini Ahmedabad. <laughs> there are so many Gujaratis over there, you never seem like you are, it never seems like you are in Bombay actually. So I asked Salman, what is it with Bolivar, why is it like this? And he said, you know what, the real Bombay is in South, so we have to go to South. <laughs> So I, th I thought, okay, I'll go south. <laughs> and go to that train and I reached Bangla and I got down and I saw, I, my first action was, wow. <laughs> and I went and I tried out on many girls and it went out very well until when you tell them that you are from Bori Bali, they will look at you like this and they oh, Bori Bali? <laughs> That's the reaction I got. So now whenever I introduce myself, I tell them, I am from Andheri and trying to move to Bangla. <laughs> So things continued that way and I did not work well obviously. So I decided to try it out in my office also. I keep trying, I am a very hard tryer, I never give up. So I tried in my office and there is very clear girl who sits next to me. Now there is a very, now one of you might be in long distance relationship or pretend to be like being on call all the time. <laughs> But I am different. I, for me it was, the distance was very short but there was no relationship. <laughs> so I kept on trying to introduce myself to her and she did not know my name. So I called from outside and I would tell her, is Deepak there? <laughs> I would call on the desk and she would like, who is Deepak? I said, that guy who sits next to you. And <laughs> 